Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Today we're going to be looking at smart mockups in Canva. I'm really excited to be sharing this smart mockups update in Canva. It's huge. We've gone from a couple of hundred designs of smart mockups that you can create in Canva to nearly 8,000 if you're using Canva Pro. So if you're not using Canva Pro, link in the description, as always, 45 day trial down there to check out some of the Canva Pro options. But let's dive in and get started with smart mockups and show you how you can create some really good engaging designs for your products. What you're going to have to do first is you're going to have to have your image, your designs or whatever it is ready first before you actually create your smart mockup. So what I've done is I've come into Canva here and I've just come over and I've created a simple page that's got 10 designs on it and all I've done is I've come over, this is just an Instagram template which is 1080 by 1080 and I've just searched for some of my template designs. If you want to have a look at them, check out some of these template designs. I'll put a link down below to my Canva profile, but also you can search under templates at better content creators and use all these designs. You can just scroll down and all these designs are the ones that I've created. So all I've done is I've created a list of, well actually we've got, we've got 11 designs here on there. Now once I've actually saved and created all those designs and got them looking the way I want, this is and this is how I want them to look on my actual smart mockups, then I'm gonna to have to wait a few moments just for Canva Cap to kind of like do its thing in the background. And what you can do is you can come over here, you can press file and you can press save here and it'll show you that all changes have been saved. And from the Canva homepage, you'll notice down the left hand side here, there's a new item called smart mockups. Now if you click on that, you'll see that you've now got access, if you're a pro member, you've now got access to over 8,000 smart mockups. Now this is huge. It used to be that you did it with inside from the template and you'd create a smart mockup that way, but this way you're gonna have more control with your smart mockups inside Canva. It's just amazing. So whether you want to use kind of like technology, whether you're using a phone or whether you're using a desktop, laptop, tablets, even smartwatches and e-readers, you've got access to there now. And if you come across, you've got all different other options as well. So you can do print for books and frames and posters and even outdoor posters and even stickers and things like that. So you just come over. If you click on that, you'll see you've got some designs there on stickers. To go back to the menu you were at before, if you come up here, press back, you'll then come back to the main page. You've got apparel, 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 however you want to pronounce it. Apparel. But anyway, you've got sweatshirts, t-shirts, hoodies, tank tops. So if you want to show off your design on a t-shirt or anything else like that, you can now do this with inside Canva. And you've also got home and living. And I really like this design here, which is just this balloon. But what we're going to do first is I'm going to create a mug option. And you'll see here, I've used this one recently. It's really nice. So you've got your coffee mug. And if you want to show off your coffee coffee mug design using this smart mockups option, you just select it. You come over here, you click select because that's the mockup that I want to use. And now I want to try and find the design that I want to put on to that actual mug. Now I've gone in, as I say, I've created, this is the 10 designs, but on this mug, I'm going to click on the summer vibes one option. And I'm going to show you how the multiple option works a bit further on in a few moments on the video. But first of all, we're going to select this simple first design. I've just got summer vibes. I really like the vibe from this image. It's really nice. I just picked it up from the t-shirts and you can see here, you can either click on uploads or from your designs as well. So this one's from the designs. I'm going to click on summer vibes, click on select. After a few moments, you're then going to get this screen here and you'll see this is the image you've used. It's free to use this particular one. And I can come in now. If I didn't want that image, I can either delete it or I can now adjust the image of how it actually displays on the smart mockup. So you've got a lot more control in your smart mockups area now. So you can see image sizing, it's full size here. You've got fit, you've got fill, stretch or custom. And if you change the size here, you'll see it changes from fit to custom. You can use either that option there or you can come down here and you can use the slider. And what I'd really like is to be able to put a number in there so I can choose a particular percentage. But what I can do is I can just come into fit. I might go for a stretch. That's not gonna look right. So I'm gonna go for fit and then I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit 
and then move that up. And what I can do on here as well, you've got these alignment options, so I can either align it to the left, to the center, to the right, to the bottom, or to the middle. So what I wanna do is I wanna align it in the center in the middle, so I'm gonna be using this option here, and this option here. And you can also, if you wanted to, you can flip this or invert it. This is perfect for what I wanna do or wanna show you on this particular tutorial. We're gonna click save on that, and then you'll see the image has changed. You can see it's slightly bigger than what it was before on there. And now I'm gonna click on a save mockup. So we've got the image, we've adjusted it how we want. We're now gonna click on save mockup. And again, that's gonna go away in the background, do its thing. And then it's going to give you two more options. Now, in these two options, what you're going to have, you're going to have either using a design or you're going to be able to download it. So if you want to just download that image, you can do just come here, click download. It will take you through the download option and the download routine. However, I'm going to use this in a design. So I'm going to click on using a design. It's going to then come up with the options of what design to use so whether it's going to be a facebook post instagram post whether i want to use it in a story or whether i want to create another size image it's not good what it's going to do is it's going to take this image and then open up a new canvas for you to put that image on again this is just a quick way to save you from downloading it and re-uploading it because that's what it's going to do in the background so if i click on instagram square you're going to see this happen so i'm going to click on that You'll see it goes away, does its little thing. And you can see now here under the uploads menu, it's actually uploading this back to Canva. So it's taking it, downloaded it, and it's re-uploading it. So now I can do whatever I want to do in that. So if I wanted to create a smaller option, I can do. And if I want to come back later on, the image is already downloaded and uploaded to my Canva uploads area. So I can come in and create other designs later on if I wanted to. So if I say I wanted to come over and I wanted a template where I've got a frame, we're gonna go back to uploads. It's just hidden it in the background. We're gonna to go to uploads. And now I can just drag that image into there. If I wanted to use this one, I can put new mug. Okay, and change really great sites or whatever, link in bio. And it's gonna show off your product photography. And if you want to, you can then adjust this with inside the frame. So I can enjoy this, adjust this up and down, and it's already stretched left to right, so that's why I can't move it left or right. If I want to move it left or right and frame it up a little bit more in the center, I would have to enlarge, I was gonna say embiggen, but that's something that's a phrase that I just use. You can just embiggen that or enlarge it, and there you go, you're gonna show off your product a little bit more. So if you wanna make it a little bit bigger, like more center and better aligned inside the frame, you can do. The one that I want to use next is this frames option here. Now you can find this under the frames option. I'm just gonna click on this one because I've used this recently. So this is how you can create a poster and how you can be able to show that. So let's say I've got this here. It's just a standard photo frame and our design is gonna go in the middle. So say you've designed some artwork that you wanna show off. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna come and we're gonna choose our actual design. So I'm gonna to come to our 10 designs here, okay? And I want to show off this item here inside my photo frame. Okay, so I'm gonna select that. And you'll see it's got the white borders here. I should have adjusted this and taken off the really great site and daily reminder. But what I can do is I can come in and I can adjust that. So I'm gonna adjust it so it's off the page there, okay? So let's say there, I'm going to, you can spend a bit of time adjusting it and correcting it however you want to. But what I've done now is I've got adjusted on a custom sizing. It's aligned how I want it to. I could change it if I want. If I didn't think that was quite in the center, I can now come back and click on the center. And that's going to make sure my lettering is aligned in the center as per my template. Obviously, if it's not aligned in the center in your template, then you've got issues but you're gonna to have to adjust your template and then come back. And if you adjust it to the center on here, it's now gonna be in the middle of your canvas. Okay, let's click save. We're happy with how that looks inside that frame. Save the mock-up. Now, when we do this, we're gonna click on using the design again. And this time I'm gonna click on an Instagram post again, because I really just, I just find it quite easy to do that. 
Okay, now we've got on that, and now what we want to do is we want to find in the background, and I want to find a recently used one that I found, and this was just this, this wall option here. I'm going to right click, set this as my background image, and you can see what I can do now is display this as if it's hanging on the wall. That's, this is just amazing. I absolutely love this. And that's how you can just quickly create a, a poster of an image, whether that's a photograph, if you're a photographer or whether you're a designer or anything else like that, you can show off your images on this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to Smart Mockups, Home and Living and Happy Birthday. So this is the balloon option here. And I really like, so you've got Christmas baubles and all sorts of things that you can put in here. You've got normal balloons, you've got like helium balloons. I'm gonna click on this one, this little helium balloon here. And now we're gonna click on select, that's what we want. And in that design, I'm gonna come again to these 10 designs that I've got. And I just wanna choose this wording that I've got. This is, you're awesome, don't change. Remember that, because you are, you are awesome. You're showing up here today and that is amazing. Oh, I must have selected the wrong one. So I'm gonna come on that, I'm gonna click on select, click on select and that one there, I must have clicked on the wrong one as I was coming across. So I'm gonna come back. Hmm, there you go. It's just not updated it in the middle. So if you're doing that, this is where you might have to wait a few moments for the design to kind of like update in the background. So just before I started recording this, I changed a few of them around and that's where it's getting a little bit confused, I think, because what it's showing me is page 10 isn't actually page 10. If I click refresh a few times and come back in 10 minutes, that would change. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we can just click adjust the image. I want this to be a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna come down to say 80%. Let's do 80%. 79 close enough okay you can click save and you'll see that goes there in the middle again save the mock-up and i really like this this is showing you how you can now use these smart mock-ups so we're going to again click use in a design we're going to click an instagram post and it's going to do its thing it's going to do it really quickly because i've already used this one okay we're going to come over we're going to come to photos and I want to find in the photos, I searched for party and under party, it had this confetti. I'm gonna set that to my background. Okay, and then once I click on the background, I can also change the color. Okay, uh, but I wanna click on that and set that as the background. So change the color first, change the background. Now you'll notice that it kind of, it's, it, it loses a little bit with this particular background in the middle there. But what you can do is once you select the background, if you set a background color behind the image as well, I can now change that transparency. So this shows us kind of like, what it's doing in the background now is it's blending those two items together. And now I can show off my balloon and tell people how awesome they are. Because remember, you are awesome. You've been here, you've watched to the end. And that's it for today. If you've got any questions about smart mockups, how to use smart mockups, or any other camera questions, let me know down in the comments below. And until next time, thank you very much. Bye for now.